they're calling it a mass casualty event. It's a prophetic word that we were praying against these terms, and I'll show you why here in a little bit. But this is the Francis Scott Key Bridge, the Baltimore Bridge that everybody's seeing in the news. And there's a lot to this that we've got to look at. There is a prophetic word in this, and I'm going to bring it out today um, that's very important. And I encourage you to repost this, share this with somebody. There's a lot of news coming out about it. I really want you to listen to what, what I believe the Spirit of the Lord is saying regarding this and regarding America. Now, let us let me look right at you before I go into the rest of it. I got a few more things I want to show you here. Um, there, there's so much happening. Let me go into the second part, the, the, the River News Reel. Let's go into that. I want to see this with the news talking about it. Watch this. The Francis Scott Key Bridge collapsed into the P Patapsco River. It happened early this morning after the bridge was struck by a large ship. The collapse was captured on video. Footage shows the ship approaching the bridge and crashing directly into one of the support columns. Maryland Governor Wes Moore has declared a state of emergency, and the Baltimore wow. Fire Department says rescue crews are searching I have a for prophetic about, word about 20 this today. people in the Patapsco River after multiple vehicles fell from the bridge. Two people have been rescued, with one taken to the hospital in serious condition. Maryland Transportation Authority says all traffic is being rerouted. Okay, let me show you another one very quickly here. If you remember a few, I, actually, let's prepare this if we could. You see this here? It says um, in this, this I want to go right over to this. It, it says the cargo ship rams Francis Scott Key Bridge in Baltimore, bringing it down in mass casualty event. Now, this is a word that the Lord spoke to us, and we we're praying against this. In I, I heard a demonic voice as I was praying against this that said, um, we're going to break a record. Now, I want to show that clip. Can we show that clip where I'm praying about that, Elijah? Because I think it's going to be important uh, with where I'm going today. I have a word for America. It's a word for America in this. And you Let should me show come this. into agreement with me right now. And we begin to say, Jesus, move in America. Jesus, move in March the church. 13, Jesus, move in me. Holy Spirit, move in me. Have your way in me. I surrender to you. We agree with you as your ecclesia. Now listen to this. And we point at darkness. We point at this nation. We point at all the things. And we command it to be uncovered, revealed, and we deter the plans of darkness here right now. Right here. Every mass casualty assignment that's right around the corner, I can feel it. Mass casualties. You lying demon, mass casualties, I bind you right now. I bind you. I hear in the spirit realm a wicked voice saying, I'm going to break a record. I'm going to break a mass casualty record. And I come into agreement with the Holy Spirit, the ecclesia, and we bind that. And we say no, and we say you will be found out and you will not prevail in Jesus' name. Okay, let me stop here. I want to show another clip of a prophetic you word I gave. There's a, there's a prophetic word I gave involving uh, ships on the sea and how it lead to shortages. Now, I have a prophetic word in this today. Bear with me for a moment because I'm going to show you a couple of these predictive prophetic words we gave. I believe it's weaving a narrative together towards where this is headed. Now, I have a lot to say. Please repost this, share this if you would. We prophesied mass casualty event. We spoke against it. And I believe that's why some of these things are not far worse than they are. That there's a demon spirit that wants to break a record of mass casualties around the world. Of course, we know what happened over in the former Soviet area, and you see how that took place and the terrible tragedy that took place there and so much of what's happening. Now, let me go into a little more with this because I also shared a word recently. I'm going to show you a couple of these regarding the shipping industry. If we could, can we show that clip, Elijah? I've prophesied about ships in the sea. These ships in the sea, tanker ships. I thought I saw cruise ships. I didn't know if it was military ships. Maybe some of that is still going to happen. What I'm hoping those ships are not, listen, 
What I'm hoping those ships are not, and I know this is gonna sound outlandish, but give me a moment, okay? I hope those ships are not a Trojan horse for military activity. Trojan and you might, horse. somebody might say, that sounds insane, Joseph. Well, things sound insane until they're real. So listen, I, I, I'm very concerned about those ships off the coast. There's something going on around this that's Tankers. not right. And I know they're saying, well, it's because there's not enough jobs, we don't have enough workers. Well, maybe it's just that simple. Maybe that's all it is. But my, my spirit man, something in me is telling me there's more to this than meets the eye, okay? There's more to this than we this may recognize. Now let's go to the next one. I wanna show you a couple of these real quick and I'm gonna get to, into what I think this means and where this is headed and why. Let's go to the next one. I began to see sea and water vessels like shipping tankers to cruise ships and the water in general is going to have attention and focus. Uh, I saw uh, everything from explosions to leap leaking and uh, different attention that's going on there, the shipping industry, and, uh, and there's going to be some adjustment to regulations in the shipping industry. But I began to see something about uh, sinking vessels, uh, uh, fire, uh, uh, things that were going on, explosives with vessels, sea-bearing vessels, praying about this. I saw submarines. I'm like, God, why am I seeing all this stuff. I sound like a sci-fi film or something. And then I, I began to pray about it. I began to see these things. And I believe that very strongly the spirit of the Lord is going to begin uh, to bring wisdom and understanding. But I believe strongly this is going to happen. I believe there's going to be some dangerous things that start to happen at sea. And you're going to see this uh, over this next season. I, I saw fire. I saw the potential of explosion and pollution. Let me look right at you. Now, looking right at you, I got to say this to you that there is a lot to be said about this. Now, let me go into it because it's very important. Now, we saw that there was a mass casualty event. This is what they're calling this. Um, there's, a, there's another clip that they're even walking through the circumstance around it. And they're asking, the media is asking the people in charge, and we'll just show this on the side-by-side. -side. They're asking, uh, who was on it? Who was on the vessel? Let's look at this. About what A and I just wanted to check do you have any information on uh, the crew that was on board, uh, their nationality? Were there 22 Indians on board? Apparently, there's a report that says there were 22 Indians who were on board. Uh, the question is who was on board the vessel and uh, nationalities? I again, I've heard conflicting information on that as well. Uh, we will have to get back to you on, the, on that. Yeah. Fascinating. Let me look right at you. They don't even know who was on the vessel. They don't know what was going on there. Now, I'm going to get to this prophetic word. This is really important. And I'm just trying to show you a number of things. Now, there's a lot of people saying there's been no uh, terrorist activity with this. There's been none of that. They're saying, oh, there's none of that's been proven. Well, the word I saw is these kind of moments would be Trojan horses that happened at a specific moment. Now, there's so much more we could get into. Let me show you just a couple more things Then I want to get into exactly what I sense about this, this mass casualty issue. Let me show you a photo, a map of the area real quick here on the TV. Um, I want to put that up. See, here, here we see this is Baltimore, and then you see the bridge, the Francis Scott Key Bridge, and this is where the strike was. This is where it all happened. Now, the issue at hand is that this stops all the shipping in this area. They could induce a form of shortages. There's so many things. And if this was a tactical move, okay, let's just say hypothetically, if you're gonna do a tactical move to this area, this was a very tactical situation. Something you need to understand about this too is that the director, the, the, the federal director, FBI, in this area, the day before this went down in the middle of the night, early in the morning, was let go, fired. Then a new one replaced him today, today. So while this is happening, they switched leaders in that bureau. You understand that picture. That makes you say, interesting. There's other circumstances around it. If you were looking for a way to do it, this was an absolutely brilliant strategic move or a strategic attack by enemies. And here's what I wanna say also. We have a word about this, and I'm gonna look right at you. The prophetic word I've been giving is, number one, that there has there's coming a cyber attack, these cyber things. Uh, I'll show you a picture here again uh, about the ship here into the bridge. You see it, and it's stuck there. When you look at some of these issues and you recognize what's going on, don't, I think we have footage of it too, Elijah, don't we, where the, Brit, the ship is coming along and the lights dim out and the lights come back on? We have that. Let's, let's show that. Look at this. Here you see the ship coming. See that? Lights go off. 
And as it gets closer, they really go off again. Say, come on, notice this. It's coming up to the pillar. The lights go off again. And they flash on, and there's a collision. Here's the collision, watch. Everybody's been seeing it, but I want you to see this. It almost looks like it turned into it, doesn't it? It hits, and then all of this just begins to collapse. Now, some people have said there's no way a, a, a cargo ship should have been able to bring this down from a collision. Now, you see this. Uh, there's other... Uh, vantage points where it shows the whole thing coming down and tipping up and, and there's just more footage like that. So here's what I want to say about this. At the end of the day, I believe it's highly probable that this could have been a cyber remote controlled issue where they just began to take over the vessel. That's a possibility because of the prophetic word we released back in September of 2023 regarding that cyber issues would happen. Now, there's so much going on here, and so to speak, I, I like what Laura, Laura Logan wrote, uh, saying that Baltimore Bridge Collapse is an absolute brilliant strategic moment. Uh, the U.S. infrastructure, most likely cyber, and our intel agencies, they know it. Uh, in information warfare terms, they just divided the U.S. along the Mason-Dixon line, exactly like what happened in the Civil War. Now, there's so much around this. And uh, the second busiest strategic roadway in the nation for hazardous material is now down for four to five years, which is second busiest strategic roadway in the nation for these materials. And um, it's a serious deal. This bridge was built specifically to move hazardous materials. Now, they can't even get it out of the area uh, for all these things that are happening, including fuel, diesel, propane gas, nitrogen, highly flammable materials, chemicals, oversized cargo that cannot fit into the tunnels. The supply chain is now crippled there. Now, let me look right at you. Here's the word of the Lord. Let me get into the word of the Lord of this. Number one, our star-spangled banner of the United States was written right near that bridge. That's why it's named the Francis Scott Key Bridge. This bridge was struck by a shipping vessel, a container ship. And I asked uh, my team to look up the name. The name of the ship is Dolly, D-A-L-I. Do you know what the meaning of the word Dolly is? The Dolly container vessel struck the Francis Scott Key Bridge. And the name of this, number one, it is an attack on our Star Spangled Banner. It's an attack on everything, and it, and it is dropping, so to speak, some of the very word or the, the penned song for our national anthem. It is an assault on the U.S., when this happened, this word Dolly is the title or the name of the vessel that hit it. It means this. Here's what Dolly means. Drawn up of God or drawn towards God. That's the name. That's the meaning. Drawn towards God or heavenly offspring. Here's the word of the Lord in this. Like Nineveh, like this eclipse that's coming, we're coming to a moment where the Lord is saying, draw back up to me. Come up to me. Come up higher. That's what he's saying. Now, I just a few days ago, two days ago, was on Pike's Peak interceding over America, and these words keep coming, and these moments keep coming, and it's this word dolly, which means drawn up of God or drawn towards God. It's saying there's a Nineveh moment. Our very national anthem has been impacted, and we need to draw up to God. It's bringing us a, a moment of collision. And now there's a lot of nefarious stuff going on, and I'm here to tell you right now, there's a lot more to this narrative than meets the eye. First of all, what's happening? It is a false flag event, false flag narrative, and I believe that there has been what took place over in the hammer and sickle with all the terrible things that just happened in that, that opera area or that music hall. And then you see that happening. That, that is something that we've been prophesying and praying against. In addition to this, you see now 
Then there was this quick moment where suddenly Puff Daddy, P. Diddy, is in the news. These things are coming out, and these pedophile rings are getting called out. These things happen. And then they shift around the director of the, the feds here in this, this area of Baltimore, and they switch him out for the, a new one right after this event happened. He was let go before the event, and they have a new one in place after the event. Something's going on. What do they know in advance? So you see all this taking place. I believe that there is a, a massive issue. It's a 1.6 mile long structure that fell into the river. And I am interceding over America against more mass casualty events, against all these issues. Let me go to the board just for a second. Okay, here I'm at the board. I, I need to just, I need to talk to you for a moment because there's a prophetic unction in this and I'm trying to work through it. I was writing on it just a moment ago uh, before I did this. I'm looking at this word, this prophecy that we gave. Prophecy and prayer against. Against what? These Mass casualty things, okay? This has been happening more than once. They said that about this circumstance here. They, said, they called it that. We were praying against it. Now we see another one uh, that's going on here. Uh, and, and in the middle of it all, I'm going to get into more of this, but there's this also false flag narrative. And I am not saying that this is fake, what's happening here. These are terrible issues that are taking place with this. Um, and I believe that there's going to be a lot of justice that's served in a lot of these areas and some of the people that are, are calling these out, but I'm just going to get rid of that for a moment because I believe that there is a lot more to this um, demonic narrative that's trying to cause these things to happen. Now, I've given words, I showed them to you, on uh, the oceans, the ships, and then this is going to try to get us induced into a place of shortages and Okay, I'm talking about military weakness. What are the false flags? Well, there's going to be more issues like this where you're recognizing uh, they're uncovering these things where guys like this, Puff Daddy, and he's getting raided in two separate locations or more, and then all of a sudden the next morning we wake up to this. I believe there's a number of things going on here, and I'm going to go into this. I believe that there is another massive issue coming. There's going to be, instead of like a head-on collision with uh, our nation, I believe there's going to be several of these. Um, this is that word Decapolis. This is that word, um, multiple areas, multiple things happening all at once. Um, you're seeing it. You're, you're just realizing that it's, it's hitting, um, you know, small, and I, there's nothing small about it, but there's small uh, uh, Trojan horses. Trojan horse attacks. Okay? That's what I see happening. I believe this was that. I believe there's something about this that really is involved with this. There's not nothing here. The fact that they don't even know who is on board and all of it, but I got to tell you, the name of it being, it means basically come to God or come up to God, come up where God is. You know what this is really saying? You want to hear the word of the Lord in this? Here's what it's really saying. America, repent. That's what it's saying. America, repent. Because there's more of these Trojan horse things that are trying to manifest. And I believe that we're going to see it uh, now at a massive scale. I think we're going to see it now in the areas of more widespread cyber. Okay? They're going to use everything from, because they don't want to alarm everybody. They want to just, they want to lull us into a crisis. So they're going to use things like, oh man, solar flares. Remember, it's coming. 
solar flares. Okay, that's what they're going to try to say. Solar flares, but it's really this. And if they really get accelerated with it, they could even try to do this thing, EMP. Um, you're going to see more and more involving this now. The, the, the watchword is going to grow. This event here, there's going to be a lot more unfolding with this Baltimore Bridge, Francis Scott Key narrative. But now you're going to see more and more revolving around this crypto discussion. Okay, this is going to really become a watchword more and more and more. Uh, the, the Bitcoin narrative. And I think there's going to be an uncovering. I think there's a private uncovering, but there's going to be a mainstream uncovering into who created this. Who created this? I'm not going to say it on here for a variety of reasons, uh, but who created this? Okay, I, I, I have a sense about it already, uh, who did this, but that's, that's one thing. But I also believe that the global elites and powers that be are looking to usher in a time of chaos. both economically and otherwise. And I believe we're going to see more and more of this. I believe we're going to see things now uh, at an accelerated level in, like we've said for a long time, but you're going to see it with shipping. This is what we've been talking about. You're going to see it with um, airlines. I've been praying against a straight up crash, like a very serious one. And my heart's been grieved, and I've been praying over that, and I've been interceding against that. I was on Pikes Peak, America's Mountain, where they sing Purple Mountain Majesty. Now we're listening to Francis Scott Key. Uh, his song is being challenged by saying we need to repent as this is collision is taking place. And there's so much around this. Now, there's much more to it. I believe that we're going to see more and more of this just unfold, okay? We're going to see more and more exposed there's a lot of prophetic voices that are saying the same thing I'm saying, but I believe May is going to be a very revealing. The May revealing. I've shared that on the board several times. I believe also we're going to go into a lot that's going to unfold into this, this coming fall narrative. Now, there's a lot I got to tell you. Let me just come back. I need to look right at you. I want to look right at you because this is a, a crisis in, an, in our nation. I believe they're going to hit from many different vantage points. I believe they're going to try to allow uh, wicked characters to really take advantage of this. And when I say they, I mean those that don't want to lose power. But the Lord is saying, America... Come to God. Come back to God. Be drawn up of God. Be drawn towards God. Come back to your roots, America. Come back to the star-spangled banner and come back to your God. And in all of it, in the midst of it all, there's going to be a great revealing a great exposing. People that have been bought off, paid for. There's a lot of prophetic words coming out, and I agree with them. I think May is going to be very pivotal. So right now, in Jesus' name, I pray for everybody impacted by this event, the loss of life, the families, and I come against more of these Trojan horse mass casualty events they're trying to bring forward. We bind it. In Jesus' name. I pray for exposure, God. And I got to tell you, I've been so grieved over the nation. I was up on Pikes Peak interceding because I feel the, the, the deep concern and the grieving of the Spirit over this. And the Lord is not causing this nor allowing it. But the, the church and many people, they got to unfetter the hands of angelic warriors. They got to unfetter these things by going to prayer, by going after it, and standing up against this nefarious agenda. So right now, in the name of Jesus, the word of the Lord is repent to repair. America, you've been hit right in your very base, right in the very 
fundamentals of what God's called you to be, the Star Spangled Banner. Francis Scott Key Bridge, hit by Dolly. D-A-L-I is the name of that ship that struck the bridge. And it means drawn up of God or drawn towards God. It is time for us to realize we're being struck, but we need to turn and be drawn to God. That's the word of the Lord in this. That's the prophetic word. And right now in the name of Jesus, everybody that's watching this and there's a normalcy bias, there's a crisis fatigue, I feel another thing coming. I feel more coming. I feel, what, I feel several things coming, trying to do more and more of this, where this is going to go to the wayside, this will be out of the news, and then the next thing comes, and the next thing comes, and wave after wave after wave. But in the middle of darkness, there is provision, there is breakthrough, and no matter what they try to spring next, even though they're losing control of the cyber narrative, I'm telling you, there's a, there's a loss of control and they're doing it willingly. And I say in the name of Jesus right now, favor, victory, and the goodness of God in the land of the living. On a bad day, you're anointed to be the best there is. I speak life over you. I speak victory over you in Jesus' name. And let me just say this too. In the middle of all this stuff, we are believing that people will stand with us during this time, so we can raise people up, a million to reach a billion, a million clear-eyed, clear-minded reformers. I'm going to be here to do prophetic journalism, speaking into these moments. I've been praying and interceding and working through this process. And I want you to join me. I want you to join me in praying for America. I want you to join me in praying for your precious nation that you're anointed to be with. And please, if you would, I'm asking for people, if you have not partnered, but you want to stand with us, please do that today by going to josephz.com because we want to get more news out. We want to get more media out. We are working diligently on a broadcast center so we can stand up and bring clarity to you and this generation. You do that by going to josephz.com. If you've been with us, thank you so much. If you do, we're going to call you. We'll be praying with you. And let me just say this too. Here is a place that we want to begin to show you more and more current events, that we can intercede and pray for all the challenges that are happening. This is the World Broadcast Center. We're, we're here. You can see all that's going on. But this facility here, this 4,000 square foot studio, I'm believing God that we're going to have people help us to continue broadcasting and saying more and more about what's happening and what to do about it. It's a Sons of Issachar anointing that God's placed on this ministry. And I'm believing God is helping us. We're broadcasters and we have a, a, this nonprofit side called Z Ministries. And I'm so grateful that we're able to do it. And you're helping us. You go to josephz.com if you want to stand with us for this so we can really begin to make a difference and be on point for what's coming next. And we're going to be ready. I'm going to be with you every day. That's our promise to you that Jesus is Lord. I hope you'll help us. And uh, let me look right back at you. I have a, a new book out. You can get this at pre-order at josephz.com right now. It'll help you discern these kind of things and navigate the signs of the times. It's a powerful book called Demystifying the Prophetic. I encourage you to get it, but let me just say this to you right now. God is with you. And there's no fear in Christ Jesus the Lord. On a bad day, you're anointed to be the best there is. America, America is under a moment where they're in the valley of decision. And like Nineveh, they've got to repent. And the Lord is saying with that, even though God didn't do this, but there's signs in all this and God will use things even though they're terrible. Like the Tower of Siloam that fell, that Jesus said that, that wiped out 18 people. The Lord used that to make a statement. He didn't do it, but he used it. And I'm telling you right now, there's a, there's a sign and a wonder in all this terrible, horrific tragedy that's happening. And again, so much compassion for the people impacted. And prayer. But the Lord is saying, come to God. That's what Dolly means. So Lord, I pray for the United States. I pray for everybody impacted. I pray for my friends that are watching right now. In Jesus' name, be at peace. And pray like you haven't prayed before. Get into the Word of God. And I'm going to be here to give you more and more information on this, but I do believe 
that we're in for a time of uh, what they're trying to do is chaos. So let me speak to that. I bind chaos. I bind these Trojan horse uh, assignments. I bind them in Jesus' name. And I say right now, every viewer, every partner in this ministry, we're coming to agreement and we hold back the darkness in Jesus' name. And we release angelic activity over all of it in the name of the Lord. Come on, May Exposure. Come on, Fall Time Breakthrough. And all the nefarious plans of the enemy, we're here. We're salt and light, preserving this place. I'll tell you, I'm going to be here through it all more and more. I have a special guest coming. Uh, I have more special guests coming uh, right up on these morning broadcasts that we're going to speak right to these issues and minister to you. You don't want to miss it. Jesus is Lord. And I look forward to talking with you again very, very soon. As this thing begins to unfold and more develops, I'll be sharing more and more with you in the name of Jesus. Please, if you would, watch this. I'll be with you soon. In today's world, there's a lot of noise and sensationalism by many claiming to hear the voice of God. They cite their predictions and their own experiences. Now, some are legitimate and some are not, but how do we know the difference? In some ways, prophecies become a mystified topic. Yet as global chaos is obviously increasing, it is imperative that we must hear and know the voice of God and true prophecy. I'm Joseph Z, and I just wrote this book, Demystifying the Prophetic. Now, it's taken me my whole life of walking through the Word of God and my own encounters and experiences to bring this to a place where we land at biblical truth and sound doctrine, yet absolutely celebrating the precious gift of prophecy. In this book, I deal with everything from trances and dreams, visions, deja vu even, different types of prophets, we talk about it. We even cover the topic of false prophets, how do you determine who's true and who's false? We talk about discerning the times, navigating strange encounters. People talk about angels appearing to them, entities appearing to them, they hear voices. All of these unique things we begin to deal with at a very powerful level with this book. I bring you straight to the written word of God and I wanna to say to you, isn't it time we understand the purpose of prophecy? After all, it is the spirit of prophecy that gives testimony to Jesus. It's time for results in your life. It's time for you to begin demystifying the prophetic. This book will help you. I promise you need this book. It'll break you out of containment. It'll bring you to a place of clarity and it will open up the understanding of the voice of God and prophecy functioning in your life by the written word of God. This is gonna really help you. I encourage you to get your copy today by going to josephz.com. I wanna say a very special thank you to our partners. Whether you've been a partner with us from the very beginning, or if you've recently become part of our partner family, we simply wanna say thank you. From the bottom of our hearts, thank you because it means so much that you're standing with us. We're accomplishing a lot together. And I'll tell you, if you're interested in becoming part of our partner family, I'd encourage you to go to josephz.com or text the keyword give to 719-259-0029. You know, we want to welcome you to the family and we will be calling you. If you become a partner, we call you regularly and we love talking to you. Our team calls you. It's not a call center. It's our team. We love our partners. I hope you'll consider it. I hope you're praying about it. And I hope you become a part of our partner family today.